Got it all kicking off to the background as well, and TRL Lightning's in the lead. The Manufacturer Series saw many familiar names out on track once again, all competing for the honour of representing their chosen mark in the finals. A wide range of cars guaranteed that the battle would go down to the wire at the Circuit de la Sarthe Le Mans. Made famous by the Le Mans 24-hour race, the Circuit de la Sarthe was host to the Manufacturer Series, with 38 corners advanced knowledge of the circuit was sure to offer a big advantage. The 24 drivers certainly didn't disappoint, putting on an incredible show. Your pole sitter, TRL Lightning, currently leading the points. We're off away in racing, and M. Thomas immediately taking the lead there as they head down towards turn number one. So M. Thomas it is who leads from Zocchi 88, but Zocchi 88's got to be careful because Matu 79 is trying to come down the inside there. We've got Callum Jones there in fifth place looking at the back of McLaren 6. Where has our pole sitter gone, Jimmy? We absolutely kicked himself after that. First to seventh position by the time he got to T1. Absolutely terrible start. Great for M. Thomas, though, off onto the lead with R.C. Zocchi gaining behind, behind four wide. Oh, here we go, it's four wide. So, oh, and someone's gone off there. Matu79 goes flying off into the gravel trap. Is he going to be able to rejoin? Where are all these penalties coming from? The grunt of that Nissan is not over yet, though. The Corvette will have the inside here, but not quite fast enough on the apex. I told you about that Nissan. Look at it go in a straight line. It's gone, it's out of there. That Corvette can barely keep up. It can't keep up. Look at the Nissan go. McLaren goes to the outside. Oh. Will he there? There he is. Round the outside at Indy. What a move. Will he be able to get there on the brake? Yes, he will. Wow, TRL for Ross. Oh, he's off. Wide. That'll be a penalty, I think. Yeah, McLaren 6 off, uh, and not for the first time in the race. Now, M. Thomas, he was very, very brave going into that right-hander there took way too much speed and his lead has been half now as Zocchi 88 is within half a second. Jimmy, I think you spotted something. I was, was going to say, if you look down the timing sheet, all the gaps are 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.5. Yeah. Everyone's so close right now. Look. It looks as if it's only a matter of time now in the Dodge Viper on board with Zocchi 88. Yeah, that V10 engine just growling away. Doesn't rev very high, but my God, does it kick. Here he comes in on the straight. Will he go to the inside? No. Backs out of it. Trying to Try service, service penalty. penalty. Very yeah. clever. Very clever to do that at the moment. Would you say, Jimmy, this is a three-way fight for the win? It's about to be. Let's see as we get down towards the chicane. We've got it all kicking off to the background as well. And TRL Lightning's in the lead. TRL Lightning into the lead then. That's where he should be. Pole sitter back into the lead but where's he gonna be left once all the pit stops are made i think what we said about this race forget it because it could all change change and change again okay. it's gonna be a last lap showdown it is going to be a last lap showdown. Did you expect that? This is what these races always build to. Your strategies all come together at the end, and those who've got it right at the top of the field, those who've got it wrong are languishing down the bottom somewhere. There was a bit of time to catch up, and McLaren 6 is being overtaken once again from the very quick Nissan there. TRL Lightning back into the lead. Right, here we go then. This, the final lap. TRL Lightning, the points leader, leading the way at the moment. And look at the four of them, all line astern then, as we go down towards the end of the straight. Who's going to come out in the lead of all of this? TRL Lightning wow. looking to the outside. Three Zocchi wide. 88 down the inside as well with three across. Jay Adams doesn't know where to place himself in towards the right-hander. And it looks as if Zocchi 88's picked up the lead. Is he going to be able to hold on to it on the exit? Oh, what a brave move, Jimmy. What a fantastic move that was. He was so close to the guard now that he could have reached out of his window and touched it. I <laughs> <laughs> no idea how he kept that in one piece, but there now Adams there. We have four cars together. This is going to go right to the line. We still have half a oh, lap to go. At this McLaren point. six, McLaren six, looking down the inside. Look at this. They're absolutely side by side, and he's in the lead. McLaren six is in the lead, but they both have penalties. So Lightning could be in the place to win this one if he stays where he is. Who's it going to be though behind the, the contact between them? Well, on track, it's going to be Zocchi 88 who's going to pick up the win out the final corner. He comes, watches, he serves. His his penalty. Who's going to come across in the lead? It's going to be TRL Lightning. TRL Lightning takes the race win. I'm out of breath. That is why we love <laughs> racing in general. Just under half a second between the top three drivers.